way, so going to this building wasn't really optional. Because it seems uh, now we can enter the big building. So where was it? Ah, there. I can see it there. Yeah, guys, yeah, guys. so one uh, interesting thread on the uh, Steam forum was um, that just like in Amnesia, there's a super secret file. But you need a you need a, a password for it, and uh, in Amnesia it was about 12 or 16 letter. Is this now a good robot? Oh, come on, we try this out. These are good robots, right? They don't do anything. Species: Ruderfish, Centrolophus niger, population zero. Population count unreliable, diagnostics failed. And now the, those things are all working again, or what? Okay, I can see that. Hmm. Where is this Omnicron now, actually? <laughs> Let me go back to uh, the first building we have found here. Where was it now? Ah, this there. Uh, this should pretty much should be the way, right? Yeah, this was a huge building I've been earlier. Omnicron. This is the site. So, I will see. Okay, guys, so I just went back to, uh, and just looked around because it, uh, it, I got the impression that was an, there uh, was another building, but uh, this wasn't the case. There was another dead here. strong silent type, but I need you to say something every now and then so I know you're all right. Jonesy? Jones. Oh, Fuck's sakes. Let's try the annex again. Maybe we can break in. We're losing Jonesy. We need to get her inside. Well, get in line! Alvaro, there's nothing we can do for her right now. Hit the stasis switch and let's check the annex. Stasis switch, yeah. Accessing those black boxes every time we hear the last thing when they died. Unlocked. And now we can enter the theater. Let me use my flashlight again. I actually do like to use the flashlight <laughs> every time. Okay. Pressurized door. Um, heavy bulkhead attention. Was this abyss? Is the yellow line? No, shuttle line is power line, the red one. ACR climber, the gantry entrance. Okay, I can see now that we are at here at the southern entrance. Gantry, shuttle tunnel, annex. Annex, this is where we have already been just a moment ago. And Omnicron. That's where we're right now. So, how can we remove the water here? I guess this is what we have to do, yeah. Ready. What? Use alternate entrance mall function? Mechanic mall function? Offline. Where's then the alternate entrance? Eh? No 
Now we unlock this and it doesn't work? Has it now unlocked another entrance or what? Well, the... Uh, shown on the map was an entrance, but this entrance is... Uh, just in a whole other area. Use alternate entrance. Uh, funny. Funny. It's just on the other side. Gantry. Fish pens. Okay, guys. Seems there's no other way as to try to find the other entrance and we try, uh, yeah, just walk on the gantry or what? Just to our left. Okay. Here it starts. Well, it seems we have to find our way around here. Whoa! Okay, okay. What the fuck? Are we not alone here or what? Crouch. This had better be the right way. Uh, hopefully. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is there something? Maybe turn off the flashlight. Those screen distortions always come into place when there's something nearby. Okay. So make, making those um, adjustments as in the developer thread how to increase the performance. Now I have again normal FPS and no frame drops. That's very important because those spiky frame drops they always lead sometimes lead to the uh, to the staggy stuttering recording or so. Oh, works. Let's go. Access granted. Just another frame drop. <laughs> just when I talk about them. Omicron research facilities. So our main objective is finding a power suit. This doesn't seem to be the case here, just normal clothing. But anyway, let's keep looking inside of them here. Yeah, because here in Zoma, I mean, it's very much all about the story. Im Ho. What about these? Is this a power suit? No, not really. I guess they, they, they don't make it that easy. So we encounter now more and more of those black boxes who doesn't work. This doesn't seem to be accessible too. So just two doors here. That one. Emergency life support. Aha. Uh -huh. This one leads up. Global lockdown active override at dive room console. Dive room. Overall lockdown. And there's actually nothing here for us. We can just see the wow. So much of those black liquid. Cartage. A motherboard. But so far, nothing else here. Okay. Nope. 
nothing. Let's go to the other room then. Always need to find our way here. No storage permitted. This area must be kept clear at all times. This sign we have read so many times now already. Robot repair, dispatch, containment, dive room. Okay. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, now I can't use my flashlight anymore or what? Ah, screw this. The arrows like to play with sounds and so. But maybe there's just no one here. Laboratory. Hydrophonic phonics. What's this here? Can't really see it. Oh fuck! Just stop it! Oh shit! 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 There's someone inside. Eh? What was this? just vanished so when was the last checkpoint <laughs> I'm not sure this seems almost like a thing where we could heal ourselves dive room dive room yeah it's okay where I'm getting this distortion here laboratory no this never works North Hall F Dive Room Medical Bay. It seems we should go there. Drive room to the left. Nothing to the right. Just let me keep my medical bay. Are we here now alone or not? Strange thing. the dive room? Huh? Can't interact? Well, here seems to be some kind of switch or what? No. Not really. Not really, guys. Just a bed. Okay, we can see it. Hmm. Nope. Nothing. Okay. Just some X X ray scans. But just makes me wonder why they haven't included a slower, slower moving uh, uh, type. Because every time I, I use the left stick, I move rather f normal fast. And they didn't do this. this uh, in most console games, then you just press it a, just a little bit, and then you walk slowly, and just fluently changes into a normal walk. But that's not the case here. That's not the case here. Electric hazard. Is there something for us here or what? So we're still in the medical bay, right? Oh man, I don't have good feeling about this long hallway. But okay, just have a door here. What? Yeah, 
Yeah, interesting. Can't go back. You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. Okay, but still this door behind us is just locked. Oh man. Are these all power suits? Again, Katarina on the far left. Power suits, proper usage. Simon, look for a suit in the lockers. Yeah, yeah, we know already this year. Power suits tested and ready. Omnicron scans are in the arc. Loaded equipment and extra rations. Climber calibrated for weight. Crane operator ready. Omnicron standing by for pickup in two days. And another Omni tool or what? Yeah. Look for the power suits. If there are any power suits left, they should be in the lockers. Yeah, I'm. These are lockers. Yeah. So let me look around, man. <laughs> Katarine. Oh, and these lockers. Okay. No one. Nothing. What about this D? Yep. found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. What? I'm gonna use this power suit. With a dead body inside. Remote control. Uh-huh. Do not operate machinery without safeguards. Okay, power it up. Activate terminal. Come on, let's activate the power suit. Haimatsu power suit. High pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning from 50 Celsius to minus 75 Celsius while keeping in steady. 40 degrees Celsius default on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer, wearer from pressure and maintain the normal 1 ATM up to a depth of 5000 meters. The onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation and even dehydration. The suit is easily assembled through ro rotating neck and frizz springs that locks the clothes and the helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked to specific personnel, but as the default, the suit will accept anyone. <laughs> okay. The controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin conductance. 
It uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest experience. Uh, really safe, I can see that, yeah. HPS tracking. Climber station, observatory. Tau. Don't really know what I have to... What was the number? D? Not exactly grade A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the wow? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. Oh nice, so now we have uh, again permission to leave here, so what does this here? Airlock. This is uh, how we're supposed to leave later or what? If we make this swipe omni tool, uh, well, no omni tool for us. Remote control. Still some areas they... Uh, make here for up some frame drops really oh. okay guys so Don't forget we need a cortex chip structure gel and a power pack to get the suit ready yep yep i won't forget not hall f2 now this works storage uh-huh I think the best thing we can do is just look around for those three things. This doesn't seem to be anything. Kerosene. Structure the geo. Don't forget. I guess we can assume that we don't just find it in this storage room. Nope. Can't even accomplish to open those stuff here. So, pressure chamber. Yeah, this is where we've been already. This is just a long hallway. Not all F2. Okay, containment F floor one. This is where we came from. Oh, fuck! This again, this thing just appears here in the middle of the room? In this glass chamber? Laboratory. Doesn't work. This one is closed too, but this computer is now up and running. Okay, now we can use upper, upper section, containment, what the fuck is, what are these stuff there, midsection, override, error removing lockdown stand, finding fault location. System. What's this here? Reset sequence. Station overview. Okay. What is this here? I can move them around. Eh? Huh? We have to stop it. 
There's something I need to do here, but let me take a look at this here. Ralphie Reader. Ralphie, Jake, Jacob Helperine. An unusual sedated orange Ralphie. Ralphie? Ruffy? Found hovering outside Omnicron substation. It had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Bo brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During postmortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of water. Kept swinging for a few minutes, so it returned. So I returned it to an aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bloodshotted itself to death before I could relocate it. Rowry. Sometimes sea life, fish or what? Dead on arrival, Claudia Eames, Chele. Darby and Waldeck identified as what was sabotaging the Luma probe at about 900 meters depth. It's a 150 centimeter long ru rudder fish that looks like it has merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it is getting worse. Something is causing this and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Ovari can't shut up about. Uh, Johann Ross, the dead man found on the climber this morning has been identified as Johann Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss and frankly I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the ARC team is alive, which I highly doubt they will have to find a way to give us a sign, we're not going down there again without good reason. But still... Fuck off those things! Just don't get what they want from me. Let's try this over route again. I can... Reset sequence. S core system. FG power room core system overload. Load. Take the geel. Lol, what does this do here? Do I have to connect? Okay, this doesn't work. Uh, let's let me think about what the heck do do they want from me? What do they want? Maybe I just have to build something. I'm not sure. We have to stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I have to stop here too. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we set. Hey. Okay, let's do this again. Now... I think we just have to connect them somehow. Yeah. But only making one line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only thing which I can think of. And now? Removing lockdown. Okay. Now we can access every... What is this class? Classroom here? Hi Matsu, no foreign contaminants beyond this point. I could close this door. Start our search. Structure gear, ship. What? Why can't I open it? Maybe this is important. Who knows? Is someone making any noise? No. 
<laughs> okay, let's take a look at this. What does it show? The black blood? Lol. The black blood cr creates something with the... Glowing in that light blue or what? Less than ideal. Check previous results. Structure yield, test formation setups. Who is making the sounds here? Something of that speed. Structure shield as connector and interface between energy and organic organic tissue. Structure shield. What is this again? Is this someone? Ah, okay, I just restarted the game. There was. Again, a small update. What's this here? Connectivity Lisa Cameron last year. The structure shield has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help out with the with connectivity. It seems like it's not only connectivity but even functionality. The shield. The shield can make simple machi machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the shield are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the shield to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ru ru ruining it. Uh -huh. We could use the shield to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Pathology. Applied Jeel to dead mouse. The Jeel the the caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the Jeel had hardened within it. Reanimated another mouse with structured gel. This time it was done with, with uncalibrated gel as produced by Ames. The results were impressive. Get the virus? The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnets are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us the ability to somewhat control it. The structure gear remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same cross-linked gear with aligned graphene and a poly unsaturated matrix that that was installed throughout Patos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gear, but its controller, the WoW. The gear has not taken on any new pro properties. The WoW simply uses it in ways that we would never even have dreamed of. Study results. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks and even the helpers, listen to me, were manipulated by the WOWs via structured shield. They have in some manner been exposed to charged shield and in turn stricken by a cancerous growth that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI. But it all started shortly after the asteroid killed the surface. I can't for sure if it's a bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. Destroy the WoW? What kind of messages are we getting here? Okay. The dead mouse? And then the Jeel uh, builds a machine on on her little head. 
Yeah, okay, we are already taking a look at this. With is this structured shield? Open, close, shield, uncalibrated. Service. Service required. What kind of service? Okay, let's cr crush. Uh -huh. Service required. Let's see, can I put this in here? No. Then maybe just the next room, right? But what is these strange sounds coming from emergency shower? But we can't can't open it. Let me try out some different movements. Nope. Maybe we can break it with something or so. Yeah, the people are always wondering why there, there are multiple smaller updates coming out on the Steam version. I guess also on just on the PC version in general. But uh, there's no information what those updates do. Because uh, people are they are clearly hoping for something which uh, increases the playability without any frame drops. Eh? Yeah, dispense shield? Is there shield inside? Hey! Okay. And now? Oh, dead mouse. Does it have something? No, not really, guys. Not really. Destroy the wow. Okay. So how can we now tackle this here? Cell 1... Okay, this is just a display of the camera built into the cell. Eh? Oh, wait. Okay, then we just use this here. And now I have to close it again? Okay, it is locked. Dispense shield. Ah, this, the structure shield increases functionality. Okay, dispense. This just like, just just looks like black blood. Take it. I guess we have now everything which we need. Yep, close it. And do I get a checkpoint for that? Not really. Not really, guys. But we have the structure G, I guess. So we need power pack. Emerges. This still strikes me out. I can't do nothing about this door here. No. Turn it around. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Maybe I can grab something. No. Okay, now I have this fire extinguisher. And those strange sounds we're getting here. Does it work? If something can break that. No. Come on. Just run into it. Okay, one more. Where are these strange sounds coming from? Okay, guys, but... Um, it's 
coming from this dead, dead body there. Let's just leave. Another clean scan, how they call it. Yep. So we are good to go. What the fuck? It's important. I can see it. Medical Bay, okay, this is where we have to return later to Katerine. Man, now I can hear those constant whispering or what? Let's just try out the next the next door here. Okay, this is clearly malfunctioning. Ross and the Wow. Paula Lansky, this is actually from this year. Confirmed a correlation between the overloaded systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. I was able to shield off the corpse inside the glass jar for a couple of seconds. Lol, this is just speaking of this glass cabin there, where we always have this uh, strange creature appearing. So I was able to shield off the corpse inside the glass jar for a couple of seconds and witness a massive drop in the readings. If we really have to keep Ross inside Omnicron, I suggest finding a way to erect a permanent barrier to avoid severe system malfunctions. Wow is definitely repairing Ross corpse. It's the most insane thing I have ever encountered. Somehow the Wow, primarily relegated really to the structure gel inside the walls, is bombarding the corpse with every system it can access. The glass jar is surrounded by an unhealthy amount of ele electromagnetism and radiation which seems to be instructing Giel already stuck inside Ross' body. Not, not sure what the WoW expects to happen when it's restored, but at least all the crazy should stop when the body hits 100%. Ross recharging. Oh man, quite interesting stuff we can just find in those. Hey, no, 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 no. Keep going on. We still need a Cortex chip. Oh man, this is really a disturbing look. Do you like to put to show us the mirror and then cold storage oh, for now we stay in this room here about Alpha and the Abyss. Uh -huh. Aha. Ah, here we can see more of those dead rats. Yeah, yeah, just pick up a seesaw. This is pretty important. But we can't interact with the rat. What's this here? Just a crush note. Oh! Where are the strange sounds coming from? Do we need a heal? Nothing happened so far, right? No. Then I'm not gonna take it. Uh, 
Maybe there's something here about? No. Okay, nothing here. So we take a look at the, what was it called? Cold room or what? Cold storage. What could we find here? Cortex chip maybe? Ah, these are those mutated sea life. The fish. What's this here? Mu mutated fish? Aha. Uh -huh. So this just happens with everything here. The wow takes hold of just everything. And they tell us that the warden unit or wow still acts maybe uh, after its definition that it should preserve and protect. Okay, now I can see we can access every room we've been already. This also means that we could access the previous room or what? This patch. Uh, for now I stay on this level then. I will take a look later. Machinery. I guess we can't find anything here. Maybe here in this drawers. Nope. Hey, Andrea? Yeah? I was talking to Cameron about protein solubilization. Do you think we could break the aggregate and structure gel without flattening the configuration? Jesus. That was a mouthful. You've been listening to Cameron, that's for sure. What do you want, Raleigh? <laughs> Can you blame me for trying to figure this out? I've been having the dreams too, you know. I don't know what to believe. Oh, I know. Everything from the sudden signal amplification in black boxes to having a comatose Dr. Ross locked up in the glass jar. We've all been going a bit nuts. Tell me about it. It feels like my head's about to explode. Hypothetically speaking, could we stop the wow from mutating? It doesn't work like that. If there was a site alpha? Hypothetically speaking, I guess we could try. Rally, are you recording this? Sorry. I, I just. Sorry. Alright. We just get more and more of, uh, of uh, small little pieces. What is what is about this Johan Ross and the Glasscha power room maintenance? What is wrong here? We can't interact with this with this dead body. 